Now we will see how to do the basic jog operation in the MP controller offline programming. For that I will try to create a new I scan. So what I will do is this is my main scan and this is my servo and X. One more child program. I will call this as job operations enter so h1 0 2 so h1 0 2 has to be called from main program what i will do is i will control c control v and change the name of the main program and i will compile and i will save so now I have to do the basic jog operation. So what we will do is we will try to take two digital inputs one for jog forward and one for jog reverse and we will try to give the command code. Command code is the code number used to denominate the motion command given to the drive through controller. So there are different control methods. So one of them is jog mode. So we do the jog operation. I will insert run. I will input two inputs. I was and my third input job plus Job minus, and I have to give a command code. I make this to be and to type store seven. command code. So what is the command code? It is my access motion command code. I have to take this variable. So I can interchange B Here, I to drag this and then I can delete this. So, in this, either one of the input is high, you will get command code 7. Then, we have to give some reference for the controller. So what we will try, we will try to give one multiplication option. So I need to give some speed reference and I have defined in degrees, so I will degrees. And what is the RPM? So now my motor will run in 5 rpm. So the same thing we can do with
for access virtual access this is for your svb job and this will be for your virtual job Now there is one more thing what we have to do is we have to check for the direction. For checking the direction you need to interchange the inputs. So how to do that we need to have one input for direction. to use a direction bit okay. once this input is high the direction will rotate. If it is low, it will rotate in the opposite direction. The same way, I can use it for other virtual axis. I will save. I will compile and save. So once this input is high, it will jump and once the input is low, it will stop joining. Yes, in this, if you have any doubt about the settings, you can for this, you can always go to model configuration and check for what is the unit selection. In our application, we have done for MM, so we'll change that to MM, and here also I'll change to MM and compile. So, the next topic will be how to do step operation. So, for step operation, we'll try to create one more subroutine program from main program. So, I'll right click here new step mode click on ok so I have to call this subroutine my main program I will copy control C control V I will call the step mode and I will compile and I will save. So what I will do is we will try to do the basic step program. Step program is nothing but we have to give both portion and speed command to the drive from from the drive to the controller. So we will take one more input digital input right click insert run Try to drag this. Step operation. Store. Eight. The 
command code then we need to give speed reference and why two zeros because I am using two decimals to give position reference command step distance and I compile so once you give this command the step distance will occur the motor will rotate one rotation and stop so you can use the same program for virtual access also you need to change this to v1 v1 then the distance so and I need to compile and I need to save so this is only the basic operation and if you want to change the direction there is a direction bit which you need to enable based on your axis direction or system of machine direction you can change the variables now we have finished seeing step mode and job mode the next mode will be motion mode for that I will create one new program right click new I limit as position mode and click on ok now I have to call this position mode in main program I will control C Control V, Position Mode, and Compile. Now I have called the Position Mode in main program, and this Position Mode will be activated. So now I'll right click, Insert Rack. So I'll put different inputs for Position Mode. input 5 and input 6 so I will take A input 5 position start after the command code one I have to give motion command code control C control V then I have to give speed reference which will be a multiply to give the motion reference so I'll give 15700 and I have to give motion reference so here once I give this input the command code one is going to move the motion command code then what is the speed and what is the position it has to go and stop so that all will be moved so I'll try to 
save this and save this project. If you want to change the direction, you can always use the bit which is used for the direction. You have to just drag and drop and you can see what is the direction bit. So, there are two direction bits. One is for your jog and step and what is the other direction bit is your move type for position reference. So, this we have to use it here and compile. So, the same way you can do for virtual access also. I will copy and I will paste. I will change this to V1 and change the speed to V1 and change the position to V1 and we will change the move type to V1 and compile and save. Now we have seen all three modes, portion mode, step mode and jog mode. So these are the three different modes which we will be operating in our controller basic programming. For advanced programming, new video for advanced programming like homing and uh, interpolation, zero point rate, all this programming we will be doing in advanced